Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Nube. And I hope uh, you are all well and having a wonderful Friday as well as looking forward to a good weekend. Uh, you would know that uh, the raging debate right now in Zimbabwe in as far as elections are concerned uh, and the such election observer missions report is concerned as well as several other observer missions is that uh, on the ZANU-PF side, uh, the country should move forward, Zimbabweans should unite and start working together towards rebuilding the country's economy as well as ushering in fresh uh, politics of uh, understanding, although that is very much disputable, especially with reports of continuing or worsening the repression, especially on members of the mainstream opposition, that is the Citizens' Coalition for Change, led by Advocate Nelson Chamisa. On the other hand, those who are for the opposition, uh, as well as Triple C itself, the debate is that Zimbabwe is not ready to go forward because there is what they call the legitimacy crisis, where they say the eventual winner of the August 23 and 24 election uh, is uh, a disputed one, is an illegitimate one. So theirs is a, an argument that says there must be a fresh election. If not, there must be a national transitional authority. If not, there must be shared power. So this is what we have for you. And we want, because we've been saying that there is no way that there is going to be a fresh election in Zimbabwe. And there is no one, in fact, among the observer missions who has suggested that Zimbabwe should go to a fresh election. Even those who have been very scathing in their uh, attack of what happened uh, in the elections in August have not said that Zimbabwe should go to a fresh election. They don't have that capacity. They don't have that mandate to do so. Even the SAT itself, as a regional body, doesn't have the power or authority to force Zimbabwe into a fresh election. So we have here a, an audio of an interview that was done with Zimbabwe's Minister of Information, uh, Misty Jenfen Muswere, which gives insight into whether or not Zimbabwe will go to a fresh election. Uh, the government of Zimbabwe is government we are guided by the engagement and re-engagement uh, pillar in terms of ensuring that we are friend to all and an enemy to none. But uh, given uh, what you termed mixed feelings, that uh, observer missions are invited by in this particular case by the government of Zimbabwe to observe elections full stop and the observation of elections is done in terms of our laws but at the same time let's wear our historical lenses who brought about the independence and the democracy who brought about one man one vote is the heroic people of Zimbabwe under the leadership of ZANU PF and PF ZAP? We conduct elections in terms of ensuring that we fulfill the constitutional obligations of our country. And we do it for our own good. At the same time, uh, like I've already indicated, that if we are going to wear our historical lenses, We'll be in a position to clearly analyze what happened for the 300 years of slavery, what happened for nearly 100 years in terms of colonization, and how did we achieve our independence. It's the black majority people fighting for freedom, fighting for one man, one vote. So at the same time, Section 93 of our Constitution is very clear in terms of the legal processes that are supposed to be followed in the case of a disputed election. So one most important fundamental issue that we should never allow the observers or any external forces is to under, undermine 
our sovereignty as a people to undermine institutions like what was indicated in the EU Observer Mission Selection Report, whereby they wanted to usurp the powers of parliament, the independence of the judiciary, and the outcome of the elections, which was already decided on the 23rd and the 24th of August 2023, in that the will of the people uh, prevailed. The voice of the people is the voice of God. So the people decided who should be who should who should be the rulers of this country. I thank you. Well, that is the voice of Honorable Jenfen Moswere, who is the Minister of Information, Publicity and Broadcasting Services, Zimbabwe. We will continue to give you more videos on different topics. Please don't forget to subscribe to this uh, channel, like this video and share it.